Welcome to our mini lesson on the area of a circle. This is the second one we're doing, and so the questions are going to be a little bit more complicated. Let's start out with this one. This first one asks us to find the area of this half circle. Well, we know from yesterday's lesson, or from the prior lesson on area of a circle, that the area equation is the area is equal to pi times the radius squared. So what that means is that first off, we're going to have to find the radius. But also, in the end, we're going to have to divide our whole area in half to get an accurate area for just this half circle. So our area equation is going to look a little bit more like this. Our area is equal to 1 half times pi r squared. So one half of the whole area amount. Now to find our radius, we divide our diameter in half. Radius is equal to 23 divided by 2. And 23 divided by 2 is equal to 11.5. So all in all, this question essentially takes the things that we've already seen and makes them just a little bit more frustrating and difficult, as <laughs> math does in each additional step. All right, so 1 half of pi times 11.5 squared. 11.5 squared is equal to 132. 0.25, and so we can divide it by 2 first, and then that will give us our approximate, or our exact, I'm sorry, our exact area is 66.125 pi centimeters squared. And we did that by finding half of this number. All right, half of 132.25 is 66.125. And we can get the area, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to say 66 times pi. So let's go ahead and get an approximate area on that. Find out what that is actually times pi. And the area is approximately equal to 200. 7.7 .7 centimeters squared. It's a little bit easier for us to understand. The pi symbol doesn't really mean anything unless we until we turn it into a number, and then it then it helps us to understand what the area is. So the area of this half circle is 207.7 .7 centimeters squared. All right, the next question is a word problem that says if you have a piece of plywood that is 10 inches by 25 inches, you want to cut out a circle that has a radius of 5 inches, what would the area of the wood you have not used? I drew a little picture for that. Here's my plywood, 10 inches by 25 inches, and I'm going to cut out this circle that has a radius of 5 inches. Okay, now, of course, if I were actually cutting out a circle, I'd probably cut it out as close to the edge as I could to reduce the waste. But in this case, I'm just doing a que math question, so <laughs> we don't have to worry about wasting our plywood. All right, so what I'm going to need to do is first off find the area of the whole rectangle and then subtract the area of this circle. Let's go ahead and do that. The area of the rectangle is equal to the length times the width. In other words, 10 times 25. That will give me a total of 250 inches squared. That's the total area of this board. Now I'm going to subtract from that, and I'll actually write that in here. So that I can use the space that I've got. Now I'm going to subtract from that the area of my circle, which is equal to pi r squared. In other words, it's equal to 3.14 approximately times 25. 
and 3.14 times 25 is equal to about 78.5 inches squared. So that's the area of my circle. So now all I need to do to find the accurate, the full area of plywood that I'm not going to use, I'll take my 125 and I will subtract 78.5 from that and get my final area of 46.5 inches squared. That is the area of the wood that I have not used. In other words, the mustard green color of wood here. The next question says if I have a circular garden with a radius of 20 feet, around the garden there is a path that is 4 feet wide. I need to find the area of the path. So I need to find the area of just this gray path around the outside of the green garden. To do that, I'm going to need to find the area of this inner circle and subtract that from the area of the entire circle. So I need to find the radius here of 20 is given, and the radius of the full-sized gray circle would be 20 plus 4, in other words, 24. So let's write out exactly what I'm doing here. The area is equal to the full-sized circle minus the inner circle. See that? So I took 24 pi r squared pi 24 squared. That'll give me the area of the full size outside circle. And I'm going to subtract the area of the inside circle of the garden with a radius of 20. All right, 24 squared is equal to 576. 576 pi minus 400 pi. And because they're like terms, I don't have to multiply out my pi quite yet. 176 pi is my exact area. And if I multiply that out, I can figure out that the area is equal to 552 feet squared. All right. So that is our mini lesson on area of a circle part two. It's a little bit more complicated questions. You may want to go back through and sort of watch them. Again, I had to talk quickly to make sure that the mini lesson is mini. Everyone have a great day, and I will see you next time.